This video is an introduction to the MATLAB folders and navigating within for the software that comes with introductory chemical engineering thermodynamics. I'll start with an overview of the folder organization, show you how to read folder content within MATLAB command window, how to change folders from within the command window, and how to read folders read from folders that are parallel to each other using the command window, how to use more to preview the top of files without opening them directly, and how to use the add path command within code to access content that is in another folder from a current working directory. Now you'll notice that I've navigated to the current working directory which uh, was the MATLAB folder and the content is organized by the way that the folders are the software is intended to be used. For example, this folder holds examples that are used in Appendix A where MATLAB is introduced. This folder holds examples that are used throughout the textbook organized by the chapter numbers in which they appear. The other folders hold software according to the um, chapter in which they're introduced. There are three folders that hold software that's shared among chapters. The PSAT folder holds content for Antoine's equations and coefficients and some utility vapor pressure programs. The props table holds an extended property table much like the back flap of the book. The gamma model holds a set of folders and subfolders for activity coefficient models that are used in various chapters in the latter part of the book. Now you're obviously aware that I can switch folders by clicking as I've been showing. It is possible and very convenient to change folders within the command window with command window commands. So I can change directory here with the CD or change directory command to change, for example, to CHAP07. I can move upward a directory using the dot dot and if I use multiple dot dots separated by slashes, I'll move multiple levels. I can use tab autocompletion to help me. In some cases this is nice if I don't remember exactly the name of the file. For example, here I've typed chap and then hit tab and I get a listing then of alternatives that I could use. Now it's also convenient for me to read folders that are parallel to each other and I'm going to use the dot dot command to do that. For example, the Ping Robinson equation will require properties that are in the props folder and it's interesting for me to be able to see what's in that folder. So to see what's the content of a folder I can use the dir command for directory and I'm interested in a folder that's parallel which is called props and I can see what's in that folder. Alright, now I also can look at the top of files without opening the file at the time. This is very convenient for a quick glance, especially if the top few lines tell you what the file does. The command more um, will allow me to view one screen at a time so the whole thing doesn't scroll by. For example, if I'm interested in looking at the top of the Prios file, I'm going to use more and I'm going to turn more on and then I can use more, I can then type Prios and you'll see it will show me one screen at a time here. If I press the space bar, I'll get one more screen. If I press any other key, I'll get one line at a time. And of course I can use the page up in the normal way and a page down will take me back to the bottom of more where I can get another screen at a time. The control C will break me out of the 
command. Now it's convenient for me to be able to access folder content from different folders within MATLAB code. I can use an add path command within my code to tell MATLAB to look for content in another folder. In addition, there's a command called genpath, which will also include any subfolders. Therefore, if I put this command in a set of code, it will allow MATLAB to find folders in other folder and any subfolders of other folder. The genpath tells it to generate the path, what's re called recursively, to look for subfolders, and add path then adds that path to the current working directory as an alternative location for folders.